You got a tattoo? Then you gotta have a story. Coming up is Devin, and she's got one hell of a hip. Baseball guy coming from the heart at From the Heart Tattoo Shop. And I've got one of the lovely tattoo artists here, Devin. Devin, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. What about you? I'm doing great. I mean, I'm getting to see some amazing artists. I'm getting to see some amazing art done at the time. And I'm getting to look at your amazing tattoos. And they look pretty smoking hot. Tell me about what one was your first ever tattoo? Uh, my first tattoo was this uh, swallow on the back of my shoulder over here. And um, it was at a time when I was young and I didn't know jack shit about tattooing. And I wanted to get a trendy tattoo. And it looks like a t-shirt stamp. I was like, that's what I want. And the tattooer was like, why? All right, cool, $70. Um, so I got it, and it's still there, and it'll be covered eventually. It's fine. Were you underage at the time? No, I was 18. But since then, you've obviously have grown up and gotten some amazing tattoo art. Um, I mean, I'm looking at this. It looks like a freaking Michelangelo thing. Tell me about, about your sleeve here and some of these um, amazing tattoos. Um, so this... Lower portion of my sleeve was done by an artist in New Orleans, Jordan Barlow. Uh, he's rad. Um, and it's Perseus Beheading Medusa. And I started getting tattooed by him because I wanted to eventually ask him for an apprenticeship. Um, but yeah, he was just really awesome to hang out with and get tattooed by. Um, so that's that. I assume you grew up in New Orleans? I did. How long have you been here in California? Um, about two and a half years. And how long have you been at this shop? Uh, about two and a half years. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and you got to apprentice under Hart, correct? Yes. Yeah. What was that like? It was great. He's he's great. Um, he has he has a lot of knowledge and he likes traditional tattoos and you know um, taught me things that I you know was interested in uh, learning about like the history you know behind a lot of. Uh, tattoos and stuff and um his style of teaching is worked really well um so it was awesome and what was going through your mind when you got to do your first ever tattoo um it was on heart actually and uh a lot of things were going through my mind but at the same time nothing was going through my mind i was really nervous and slightly tipsy because <laughs> it was a uh, friday the 13th and he was just like, set up, you're going to tattoo me. And it was fucking awesome. And the tattoo turned out great? It did. It's a little alien head, so, you know, not much can go wrong with that. But it was good. Awesome. Now, have you done any tattoos on your own body? I have. I have. Um, also, in my apprenticeship, I tattooed a flower on my ankle because that's kind of where I could reach. It sucked. <laughs> but now you've got a lot of awesome tattoos, and you got some that Hart did. Yeah. Um, like especially on your leg. Tell me about like your tiger and some of the other things you have down there. Um, so I've got this really cool tiger uh, on the bottom of my leg. Uh, it's traditional. I came out of a, a flash book that he would like share with me during my apprenticeship um, by uh, Martin Lacasse. And um, so we tattooed that and another skull head right next to it with like a Judas Priest symbol on it. So that's awesome. What's your favorite Judas Priest album? Uh, damn, that's a good question. Putting me on the spot here. Probably, uh, <laughs> Victim of Changes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you like some old school priests? I'm more defenders of the faith, um, but yeah, I mean, Victim of Changes is still pretty good too. Yeah. All right, and then we obviously got um, a lot of different um, traditional, American traditional styles over here. The Scorpion, tell me about the Scorpion. Scorpion was done at Electric Ladyland Tattooing in New Orleans uh, by a guy named Bobby, and I'm a Scorpio, so I just kind of... Also, Scorpions are just a cool tattoo to have, you know, no matter if you're a Scorpio or not, so got that. And then your little Friday the 13th skull guy here? Yeah, I got that at a shop directly across from that shop um, called Downtown Tattoo, and um, I got to skip the line because I knew the tattooer, and it was fun. It was cool. It took, like, five minutes. Now, I've <clears throat> I've noticed that most of your tattoos on your arms are pretty much all black and gray, but it's your legs and then, of course, your hip. You've got amazing color. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, I don't know why. I was, whenever, I, like a decade ago, whenever I first started getting tattoos, um, I was really into just the all black or black and gray look. 
And then I realized how much fun it was to watch people tattoo color and how awesome color tattoos are. Um, and so I started getting those on the bottom half of my body. And now it looks funny probably a little bit when I'm naked, but that's cool. I'm thinking people are just happy to see you naked. They're not going to laugh. I mean, I hope so. Whatever. <laughs> and now, do you have anything um, planned for your next tattoo? Um, the mace that he did on my kneecap, we're going to finish shading that. And then, I don't know, I want to branch out and start getting tattoos by some of the other amazing artists that are in this area. There's a lot of really great tattooing in Southern California, so I'm going to take advantage of that while I'm here. Who are some of the artists that you really want to work with? Uh, that I want to work with? Um, there's Jacob Donnie. I'd like to get a tattoo by him, but I don't think he's tattooing right now. Um, I'm not sure. I have like a whole list cached in my, uh, in my Instagram, but I can't name stuff off the top of my head because I suck. <laughs> well, you may suck, but your, your tattoos definitely don't suck. Although maybe may your little swallow one. No, we, we, we don't mind the swallow one that bad. Um, what do you think um, is one, which one's your favorite? Probably the peony on my hip. Is it because of the color, because of the, the design? I mean, the, the color is freaking amazing. Obviously, where it's located, um, it just adds so much, I think, to your body. What, what all is it that you love about it? Um, I loved the whole process of getting it tattooed, even though it was really painful. But the artist, like, he drew it on. He, like, painted it on, actually, with, like, a stencil liquid. And then he just tattooed it. And so that was really, that was an interesting time. It took me three sessions to get it done because I'm a wimp. But it's beautiful, obviously. Um, the guy that did it works at Good Work Tattoos in New Orleans. So that was cool um, to go to that shop. It was just a great experience, and then the tattoo is beautiful. So, do you get back to New Orleans at all anymore? I've gone once, um, but I hope to go back more often. So, yeah, not as often as I'd like. And um, what are you going to be doing as far as like your tattooing of others? Is there anything that you've kind of got like a goal to do, or something you really are hoping to create? Something you've designed already? Um, yeah, I just, I really am enjoying right now the fact that people keep seeing me post stuff, like some of my drawings and paintings, and they are asking me to get them tattooed. So that's a blessing and a surprise, and it's amazing. So I just kind of hope to keep doing that. So check out her Instagram, guys, and uh, make sure you uh, see what it is and comment on this video what uh, design that she has that you would like to have. Um, and they can find you right here at From the Heart Tattoo, right? Yes. Awesome. Well, Devin, I want to thank you so much for taking time today talking about your personal tattoos and about the tattooing that you do. Obviously, um, we want you to like this video. Again, comment, um, especially look at her Instagram and see what designs you would like. What's your favorite tattoo that she has? And also, pound that subscription button, please. That helps us out a ton. Baseball guy, Devin, we out. <laughs>